First use a ruler or a meter stick and a pencil to draw out your lines. Make sure to have your blueprint in hand. If you are drawing rectangles or squares, make sure the angles of each corner are right angles. You can use the protractor to check if your lines are 90 degrees. After drawing your lines, take off the cap of the X-Acto knife and place it in a safe place so that you don't lose it. Check to see if the blade is pushed all the way into the collet. If it is not pushed all the way as you see here, please hand it to the teacher with the cap on it. If it's pushed in all the way, you can tighten the collar by twisting it clockwise. We do not want this part loose at all. This tool can be extremely dangerous, so please make sure you use the strategies that I demonstrate in the video. Now it is time to cut the drawn pieces out. I like to hold the X-Acto knife like a pencil. Make sure you hold the knife at least a half inch or more above where the blade is. Remember to always have your other hand and fingers a good distance away from the line you are cutting. Also it will take 3 to 6 cuts before you go all the way through the board. All cuts should be with light pressure, with the first cut cutting only the paper surface of the board. Make sure no one is behind you and please cut slowly. So remember, make sure the blade is all the way in the collet and the collar is tightened. Have your other hand and fingers a good distance away from the line you are cutting. All your 3 to 6 cuts must be with light pressure. No one should be behind you and make sure to cut slowly. If you want to cut straight lines, I really recommend using a meter stick as well. Again, make sure your fingers are away from the edge. Now I want to show you how you can score the board to make folds. Scoring foam board is a technique where you cut only a certain percentage of the board. For example, when you score 100%, that means you cut through the board. When you score 50% of the board, you are only cutting halfway. First you draw two parallel lines that are 1 to 1.5 centimeters away from each other. Then you score the lines with 25 to 50% cuts. You then can use your fingers to peel off the paper. I like to use a screwdriver for this task. Now you are able to fold the foam board. You can shave the corners with the sand block to make a better fit. Here's what I created. It is important to note that your measurements and cuts must be precise. This will allow you to put together an accurate and clean product. 